Good morning children. Today we shall learn about associative property of rational numbers. Here we are adding three integers first. Minus 5 plus minus 3 plus minus 2. First we add the group containing minus 3 and minus 2. So this becomes minus 5 and adding minus 3 plus minus 2 becomes minus 5. Next, we add minus 5 plus minus 5 and here answer becomes adding 5 and 5, 10 and putting the common sign minus, it is minus 10. Now, let us change the order. First, we add the group of minus 5 and minus 3 and then we add to it minus 2. So, minus 5 plus minus 3. This becomes equal to minus 8. And now we will add to it minus 2. So 8 plus 2 is 10 and putting the common sign which is minus here. The answer is minus 10. What do we see? Whenever the group is changed while adding of integers, the answer remains the same irrespective of the groups. So this is associative property of addition. In addition of integers, the sum doesn't change even if the grouping is changed. Let's see what happens when we add three rational numbers. Here we have minus 1 by 2 plus 1.5 plus 1 by 4. So if we first add the group of minus 1 by 2 and 1.5. This becomes equal to, as we know, 1.5 can be written as 15 by 10. And here the LCM becomes 10. And in the numerator we get minus 5 plus 15. And we write down just plus 1 by 4. This becomes equal to minus 5 plus 15 is 10 and we know 10 by 10 becomes 1. So here we get 1 plus 1 by 4, we just bring it down. 1 plus 1 by 4, it becomes equal to 5 by 4. Next, let's change the group. Now we add first 1.5 and 1 by 4 and then to the sum we will add minus 1 by 2. So this becomes minus 1 by 2 plus here we are adding 15 by 10 plus 1 by 4. LCM of 10 and 4 is 20. So we get 20 in the denominator and in the numerator we get 30 plus 5. What is this equal to? This becomes equal to minus 1 by 2 plus 30 plus 5 is 35 and denominator is 20. So we get minus 1 by 2 plus 35 by 20. This becomes equal to minus 10 plus 35 by 20 as LCM of 2 and 20 is 20. And thus we get answer as minus 10 plus 35. This becomes equal to 25. So here we get 25 by 20. And then when we reduce it, we get 5 fives are 25. In the numerator, 5 is left. And 20 can be divided by 4 as 5 fours are 20. So here we get answer as 5 by 4. What does it say? We can say in addition of rational numbers, the sum doesn't change even if the grouping is changed. That means we get the same answer when the groups in which we are adding 3 or more rational number is changed. Now let's see what happens in case of subtraction. Here we are subtracting three rational numbers 7.5 minus 2 minus 1 by 2 so first we'll take the group of 
seven point five minus two, and then from the result we will subtract one by two. This becomes seven point five minus two becomes five point five minus one by two, and we know one by two is actually equal to zero point five in decimal. So five point five minus 0.5 becomes 5. Now let's change the order now. So here we have 7.5 minus. This time we will first take this group and do subtraction and then this will be subtracted from 7.5. So here we have 7.5. If we subtract half from 2 we get 1 and half which is actually equal to 3 by 2. So here we have 7.5 minus 3 by 2 and we know 3 by 2 is actually equal to 1.5 in decimal. So, so when we subtract 1.5 from 7.5 the answer is 6. What do we see? The answer is not same when we change the grouping. So we can say while subtracting three or more rational numbers the result changes when the grouping is changed. So the associative property does not hold true for subtraction of rational numbers. Now let's multiply three rational numbers. Here we have minus three multiplied by 1 by 3 multiplied by minus 2. First we take the group of minus 3 and 1 by 3 and multiply. So here we get minus 3 multiplied by 1 by 3 becomes minus 3 by 3 which becomes equal to minus 1 and now we will multiply it by minus 2. Minus 1 into minus 2 the answer is 2 as minus into minus becomes plus. Now let's change the group. We first multiply minus 3 with minus 2 and next we will multiply by 1 by 3. What do we get? Minus 3 into minus 2 is 6 as minus into minus becomes plus and 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. And dividing we get the answer as 2. What do we see? In both the cases we got the same answer. So we can say while multiplying rational numbers the product doesn't change even if the grouping is changed. We say associative property of multiplication holds true in the case of rational numbers. Now let us see what happens in the case of division. Here we have minus 16 divided by 4 divided by minus 1 by 2. We first take this group minus 16 divided by 4. So we get answer as minus 16 by 4. 4 fours are 16 and putting the minus sign we get minus 4 divided by minus 1 by 2. This becomes minus 4 multiplied by what is the reciprocal of minus 1 by 2? It is minus 2 by 1. So here we get minus 4 multiplied by minus 2. This becomes equal to 8 as minus into minus is plus sign and 4 into 2 is 8. So we get plus 8 or just 8. Now Let's take another group first. First we will take 4 divided by minus 1 by 2 and solve it. So here we have minus 16. Simplifying this what do we get? Division can be changed into multiplication. So 4 divided by minus 1 by 2 becomes 4 multiplied by minus 2. 4 multiplied by minus 2 is minus 8. So here we have minus 
16 divided by minus 8. Next, this can also be written as minus 16 multiplied by reciprocal of minus 8 which is 1 by 8. So, here we have minus 16 multiplied by 1 by 8 with a minus sign. So, it is 16 by 8 and answer is 2 as minus minus gets cancelled. So, what do we see? We can say division is not associative for rational numbers as the answer we get is different when the grouping is changed. So, what can we say? We can say addition is associative in case of rational numbers, subtraction is not associative, multiplication is associative and lastly division is not associative. So, now you know about the associative property of rational numbers. That's all for now. Bye-bye children.